Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back with a haul from Posh Olive. So the Posh Olive owned by Margaret is becoming one of my go-to vendors. This is already my like third or fourth haul from her. Absolutely loving her stuff. I love the fact that it's 100% soy, but I can smell it. I've found so many times when I try to melt 100% soy, it doesn't throw for me. It doesn't work for me. Something wonky happens and I just get no throw. That has not been my experience with the Posh Olive. Absolutely love Margaret's stuff, 100% both her Bath and & Body and her wax. So I'm gonna go over with you guys what I got. It's not too terribly much, and some of the scents are things that I got last month. So if you saw my last haul, I'm not gonna go over those scents too much. I'm gonna go over the new stuff. So I'll start with the samples. So she gave me a sample of ginger ale. And she didn't do shapes this time. She's not doing shapes during the heat of summer. She's gonna bring the shapes back in the fall. Right now, she's just doing clamshells and scent shots. So ginger ale. This is a strong, pure, true, pungent ginger ale. It's very, very strong on cold. And it's just pure ginger ale. It's not ginger ale mixed with anything. Just pure ginger ale. It smells really good, but I don't think I'm gonna melt it by itself. I am going to melt it with my other sample, which was cranberries. I love this one. Oh, this is so good. It's sweet and tart at the same time, and it smells almost like a cranberry juice cocktail. You know, like when you get like cran grape or cran wildberry, like those drinks. That is what this reminds me of. So I am going to melt this and ginger ale together. That is my plan. And make a cranberry ginger ale blend because I think that will be amazing. So on to what I purchased. So the first thing I got was a clamshell in Capistrano Beach. This was, I believe, one of the very first scents to sell out last month, and I didn't grab it. I had it on my like mental wish list, and then I didn't end up grabbing it, and it was like one of the very first things to sell out. So I made sure that I got it this time around. So Sandy Beach, Salty Ocean Air. Also, her clamshells, like the clamshell part, don't smell plasticky to me at all. I think I've talked about that in other videos before, that sometimes the clamshell itself can come off smelling like plastic. I'm not smelling that here at all. This is really good. This is extremely fresh. Um, this is more oceanic and perfumey than like it doesn't smell like laundry. It doesn't smell like suntan lotion. This is an, like an, a perfumey scent. This would be beautiful in the bedroom, bathroom. Um, I'm gonna melt it all over the house next time I do a beachy week. Oh, it's so good. I do absolutely love this and I would love this in body care. So she pours this in body care. If she pours this again in body care, I'm all over it. This is very, very good. This next new scent is Summit Caldera, mint, mint leaves and fresh garden soil. I love a good dirt and mint blend. Absolutely love it. I got two of them. This one cracked. Okay, this package was lost for two days. Lost. Like, it showed up on a Saturday, but it was supposed to come on a Thursday. And on Thursday, it said out for delivery at like 7.30 in the morning, and it never came. And then on Friday, there was an alert that said basically that the U.S. Postal Service didn't know where the package was. And then on Saturday, it showed up. So soy wax can go through some changes, some pretty dramatic changes 
due to temperature changes. So that's what I blame the cracking on. I blame it on wherever it was where it sat for two days. But it doesn't affect the scent, so I'm not worried about it. This smells amazing. This is a fresh potting soil and mint scent, which I know sounds weird if you haven't smelled it yourself. But this is literally like a mint garden. It's so freaking good. And this, I can already tell, is going to throw like a beast. Mm, I am so glad that I went ahead and got that. I tend to gravitate towards scents like that though when I see that a vendor pours like a an herb garden type of scent. I'll grab a couple just to try it because I, I really like scents like that. This one does not disappoint. The next new one is Mermaid Kisses Saltwater Taffy and Sugar Cookies. So if you guys have paid any attention, you know I'm all over saltwater taffy this summer. So of course I was gonna grab this one. Now this is a little bit of a different saltwater taffy type scent. Look how pretty that is though. This is a little bit different because you get the fruit from the saltwater taffy. And saltwater taffy is first and foremost a fruity scent. Even though it's a candy scent, it's first and foremost a fruity scent. There's a crap ton of fruit in a saltwater taffy fragrance oil and then like a vanilla. That's what it is. But this is that plus sugar cookie. So I wasn't 100% sold on this when I first smelled it, but the more I've smelled it, the more it's growing on me. Like you really get that nice fruity saltwater taffy and then a touch of bakery. And it's, it's really clever because mostly what I've seen is like either saltwater taffy by itself or like saltwater taffy and cotton candy. So I like the saltwater taffy sugar cookie idea. I can't wait to see what this does when I melt it. The more I smell it, the more I'm falling in love with it. But when I first sniffed it, I was not sold, to be honest. But I do, the more I sniff it, the more I'm really liking it. That one's Mermaid Kisses. Next new scent is Let Freedom Ring. Cherry Soda, Fizzy Pop, and Blue Raspberry. So this is like a bomb pop scent. Pretty much every vendor has something like this. This one is a triple layer tart, red, white, and blue, with some iridescent glitter on the top. Very, very pretty. And what I smell first and foremost is cherry soda. I absolutely love Margaret's cherry soda scent. If you guys watched my melted video when I melted this and it was like my favorite thing that I had melted that week, this is first and foremost cherry soda. I do get some of the other notes as well, but that is what is kicking in this blend. And I wish I would have gotten more of it. I wish I would have gotten like 10 cent shots of this to be honest. So good, but I only got the one. I got it to melt on the 4th of July, so. That is that. The other two wax scents are not new scents, so I'll just go over them briefly because I hauled them in my last video. Jack and Rose Honeydew Cotton Candy, a beautiful scent. You get a great mix of that fresh honeydew melon and that sweet cotton candy. I've melted some of this, throws amazingly well. Absolutely love this blend. And then blackberry cream soda, which I talked about in my last video. This is the one that she made me the bakery bag of. I just grabbed more of it because this is one that I'm going to love having around all the time. Absolutely love blackberry cream soda. I've already melted this one as well, and it does throw very strongly. So I had to get just a couple more of those. And then I grabbed a little bit of body care. I got the Jack and Rose scrub which i think last time i did a video i went over her scrubs how the texture is and everything i got jack and rose this is the honeydew and cotton candy one i cannot wait to dive into that and then i got two loofah soaps 
I got Let Freedom Ring, which is the cherry soda, uh, fizzy pop and blue raspberry, loofah soap. So you've got your scrubby loofah and then the soap is kind of built around it. I haven't used one of these yet, but I have like three of them now. So I should probably do that. And then I got blackberry cream soda in the loofah soap as well. So that is it. That is my Posh Olive haul for June, late June, because I think the first haul was early June. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Have an excellent day. Bye.